My name is Rod Clark, and I've been a migraine sufferer since at least the age of five. I remember at age five telling my uh, family I could, when I closed my eyelids, I could see lightning bolts uh, because my head was hurting. And they thought at the time it was just sinus related, like so many people do, I think. And so for years I was treated as if I had sinus headaches and took all sorts of, you know, Dimatap and all that sort of thing. Um, as opposed to being treated for uh, migraines. What happened with my headaches, I think, um, from that point, I, I would have headaches periodically um, that were bad. And I remember, you know, lying in bed um, with a, a cold uh, washcloth on my head, uh, just trying to get some relief and then trying a warm washcloth or trying whatever. Um, and so, but generally the headaches, I don't think were, you know, I didn't have them very frequently. And so you could kind of deal with uh, something that happened um, uh, on a, you know, on a you know, short term basis. Um, then what happened uh, was about um, 2006, toward the end of 2006, um, I was working in a building where they were doing a complete renovation and they kept uh, opening the new part up to the old part and paint fumes and uh, sheetrock dust and all this stuff came in and I'm convinced that that really triggered uh, this major episode of um, just such severe headaches um, that I couldn't function and I was off work for about three months. Um, I, um, you know, went to a neurologist. Um, he diagnosed migraines. He said, you know, they were a number of things that could cause migraines, uh, but that I had never had sinus headaches. They were, they were migraines. And so, um, at that point, I was treated with virtually every medication that was on the market. Um, things would work temporarily, uh, maybe two months or three months, and I'd be, you know, I would think, okay, this is it. Um, and then one morning it just wouldn't work anymore. Um, so then they tried, you know, the cocktails of we'll give you well, this one and this one, and we'll give you these three together, and then we'll keep, you know, mixing and matching, and um, eventually it just no longer worked. And I was going to the go-to guy in Dallas uh, for neurology. And so, um, you know, I was, I knew I was getting the proper treatment, but it just wasn't solving my problem. My major triggers were um, weather, weather changes, um, and um, stress, uh, stress at work, stress, you know, at home, whatever's, you know, whatever's going on. Um, and I think those were really, really the major causes of mine. And, and my, I tried to even track for a while, you know, the barometric pressure and storms coming in and all that, but it, it, it never seemed to be the same. Some days my headache would uh, start as a storm was coming in. Some days I wouldn't have a headache until the storm was leaving. And so it just, it, there was no rhyme or reason, but it seemed to be connected to weather somehow. I heard about Reed Migraine and, and I, I call it my little miracle because it happened on a Sunday for one thing. Um, I was driving my son home to Denton um, and on the way back, um, as I had a headache, um, I look over on the left side of uh, uh, 35 and there's a billboard. Um, and I'm so all the way home, I'm going nomigrainepain.com, nomigrainepain.com so I can get home and, and look at the website and um, looked at the testimonials that were there and, and uh, Dr. Reed's uh, statement and things and just thought, you know, maybe this is it. <laughs> and uh, so that's why, you know, to me it was just, you know, just miraculous that I saw it um, uh, just by the side of the road after everything I'd been through and all the doctors I had seen. So I called the office and um, came to one of the seminars and um, the lady who spoke at the seminar, the, the patient, the former patient, um, so many things that she said were so similar to what I was feeling and other people in the audience, I could tell it was really connecting with them. And so uh, I was very hopeful. And um, when I met with Dr. Reed, he said I would be a good candidate, which I was very grateful for. Um, and we did the experimental procedure in the middle of December 
um, I mean the the first one and um, I forget I think I had it on a Thursday so I got to keep it a little longer than some patients you know because I had over the weekend so I had you know five really great days um, I mean it was just the difference between night and day I mean that's that's all you can say and so then um, we didn't schedule the um, the final until uh, the middle of January um, that was 20 um, 2010 and um, I've just been great ever since. <laughs> I think it's real interesting because the stimulator is unique, just like we're all unique. Um, so um, Cher, my rep, told me early on, I can't tell you exactly you know, how to program this. I can't tell you which program to use. I can give you some suggestions, but you really have to play with this and learn uh, what works for you. And so that's what I did the first several months was um, I would uh, up the stimulus, I would change programs, I would see, you know, if I felt a headache coming on, I would just try different things. And so now um, it's almost second nature that if, if I uh, feel something happening up, you know, in my head, I just, you know, change the, change the program or maybe up the stimulus a little bit. And it's, um, I've, you know, I, I can't, there's no science to that, I don't guess. I mean, I, it's just, you know, well, what do I think, what do I feel is going to make this work better? So um, it's just a matter of, you know, playing with it and um, um, seeing, you know, what works today. So going from um, sitting in a chair, uh, keeping my head still, afraid to move it for fear of a headache, um, now, um, I, I can do anything. I mean, my, I'm out in the yard all the time, uh, you know, cutting limbs and, you know, gardening and just whatever, playing with my grandchildren. Um, I can do it all. And for, for several months, you know, I was unable to do anything. So it's just, it's just really made a big difference in my life. My family has been great through this whole thing. Everybody's, you know, been so supportive, but, you know, you know that, a, you know, an eight or a 10 year old child gets really tired of hearing, you know, okay, dad's really not feeling good right now. Can we go to that movie later? You know, let's don't go. Uh, can we, can we play that game later? You know, so um, it was kind of, a regular, you know, thing for people to hear that, well, yeah, I'd like to do that, but my head is hurting. And you get tired of saying it, and you know people get tired of hearing it. Um, so really, my family, I think, you know, it's kind of like they have me back, um, and, and I can participate in um, Six Flags or football games or all those things I just kind of had to sit out because I was having a headache. Because I have had the, the uh, neurostimulator and family and friends know that and know the difference that, that it's made in my life, um, various people have come to me and said, you know, my cousin um, is having migraines and, and can't get any relief. Um, a lady that works with my brother um, over in Mississippi, um, you know, what can I do? And, and I refer everybody to the website and just say, start here and then see, you know, if maybe this might be for you because, um, you know, everybody's looking for that miracle and, and I'm convinced that I found it.